Vikundi vya kina mama na vijana kutoka eneo bunge la Machungu kaunti ya Kakamega vinatarajiwa kunufaika na pesa za mikopo ya hazina uwezo kwa lengo la kuimarisha biashara yao. Kulingana na mwenyekiti wa kamati ya hazina hiyo eneo bunge hili Vincent Were, wamepokea zaidi ya maombi 180 ya ufadhili kutoka kwa vikundi hivyo, kila kikundi kikitarajiwa kupokea kati ya shilingi 1500 na laki moja. Wale ambao hawajatuma oh, maombi watume. Sawa sawa. Kwa sababu ndiyo tumeanza we are this is a rejuvenated team eh ndio tumeanza tumekuwa na challenge hapo hapo awali kila mtu the, the vetting itakuwa very fair na kila mtu wale wenye wametimiza masharti watapatiwa pesa wafanye biashara kwa upande wake George Nyongesa msaidizi wa mbunge wa Matungu Justice Murunga amedokeza kuwa umeweka mikakati dhabiti kuhakikisha kuwa vikundi vingi vinatuma maombi ya kupata ufadhili huo i think the mp has done a lot given that uh, as you know during this uh, the, the, the trying time of the, the, the pandemic he has we have really gone far as far as the polling stations to make sure that every group that is registered there and is willing to benefit from the fund have been mobilized and today they came in their big numbers kamati ambayo imechaguliwa wataweza kuketi na kufanya kazi yao ili vijana na wamama hapa matungu constituency waweze kutunufaika na fedha za uwezo fund ambazo zimeweza kuwa tayari baada ya kuweza kulipiwa eh, kwa vikundi ambavyo tayari walikuwa wameomba fedha hata hivyo wewe amefichua kuwa wengi waliofadhiliwa katika awamu ya kwanza hawajarejesha fedha hizo hivyo basi kuwa vigumu kufadhili vikundi vingi kwa wakati mmoja because this is a revolving fund there is a, a ceiling which as a constituents we had to uh, realize before the fund had to be given out so we went out to the field to uh, entreat uh, the groups to make sure that they they pay up the, 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 the outstanding debts so that we can also raise the ceiling for us to also help to fund other groups. The, the reason as to why the rate of defaulting was very high, most of these groups, the previous groups that have been uh, coming for funding, eh, these groups have, have just been uh, formed purposely for this fund. They have not been having a vision. So once they have accessed the funds, they cease to exist. So that has been a major challenge. But for now, the structures that we have put in place yeah, will enable us to weed out this we so-called ghost groups. Taita Souma, Runinga Shaidi, Kakamega.